Hey, welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use scroll view inside our app. So what is a scroll view? A scroll view is a layout container that it holds views and it, you will be able to scroll through them easily. So for example, if you have like a, a layout that has so many views and then they may not fully fit inside the whole screen, right? So you can uh, use scroll view so that it allows you to scroll through them from uh, the top to the bottom. So uh, let me show you and uh, show you the app that we will build in this tutorial. I'll open up the emulator, and as you can see here, I have the beautiful page of Hawaii, and then a title and a description. So when you scroll through the description, at first it looks like it's a it's not fully shown, right? It's like it's a big cut off at the bottom. So when you try to scroll them, scroll through the description, you can. Uh, you can view the full text without I mean like uh, without actually scrolling the whole screen right you can actually scroll make the whole screen scrollable or you can just uh, use a scroll view uh, in a certain part in the in the screen so without further ado let's open up the uh, Android studio and create a new project so here we have uh, let's give this an example of uh, scroll view example and then click on next click next next and then click on finish okay build is complete uh, let me close this so in, uh, here we won't be working or we won't be writing any java code we all we will be working only in the activity underscore main.xml file so for this reason i'm going to close this close the java file and then We'll work. We'll leave the activity underscore main open. So we'll de delete the default hello world text view, and then we'll add an image view. So hit the image view. Just drag it. Uh, place it at the top. Then make it center. So here we have the image, and then we'll add the the description. So the dis uh, sorry, the first thing. Uh, the image and then the title. So the title, I'm, I'll be using a large text. Okay. And then for the full description, I'll just use a medium text. Okay. Now, for the image view, right? Let me uh, have actually an image right here. The Hawaii Beach. So what I'm what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drag the image and then put it inside the the project file. So let me just open up the desktop. Okay, so here in the in the project file folder, I'll open up the app and then uh, SRC main uh, resource and then drawable and then I'm just going to copy this and then just paste it right here. Okay. So let's open up the, the project and then go to resource just to make sure that the image is there. Click on drawable folder and there we have the image. Okay, so go to the design. Let me close this. And then for the image view here, we will do an Android SRC and then give give it the, uh, the Hawaii image. So it's drawable. That's where the image is stored. And then say Hawaii. That's the title of the image. Go back to the design, and here we have uh, the image. Now we need to uh, change the uh, the scale type of the image. So it's Android scale type, and then we'll make it fit X Y. Okay. Now it looks a bit large, right? No problem. Now we'll just uh, reduce the height of the image. So you can see here in the Android layer height. So instead of wrap content, uh, well, I'll just give it uh, 200 dp. Which that looks fine. 200 dp. If it looks ugly, then we can change that later. So go back to the design. Oh, okay, looks looks good. So here we have the image, and then I'll give a space between the title and the image by adding the 
Android margin top for the text view which is the title so it's Android a little margin top go back to design uh, yeah it looks fine do the same thing between the t the title and the description copy this as well then paste it here go back to design okay it looks fine now we need to change the title instead of large text and change the text here so we'll make this Hawaii and then we need to give it a style so it's Android text style we want to make it bold so it's bold here and then we need to extract the string resource as usual click on the yellow bulb extract string resource click OK and then let's go to design okay it looks uh, it looks good and let me just increase the text size a bit so it's Android text size and then we give it 20 uh, 20 SP or let's say 25 SP go back to design okay and then for the medium text so the medium, the medium text is the one that holds the full description about Hawaii now basically to get the description you can just go to the Wikipedia I have it open right here and then I'll just copy uh, from here towards the end here this is fairly long text just to uh, give you guys an idea of how the scroll view is working so I'll copy this and then go back to the uh, Android Studio and then for now let me just extract the string resource for this and then I'll edit the value of the text inside the, the strings.xml so for the name I'm gonna give it a description description text okay now let's go to the string.xml okay and then just paste it here I know it looks really long text but for this demo it's worth it okay another thing is you can see the commas right here right sorry not the yeah the apostrophe not the comma sorry the apostrophe we need to escape that so we'll just use a slash because if we don't do that then we will have an error when you try to build the app so I'll just do it for the rest of the text okay so looks good let's go to the activity underscore main go to design and see how it looks like all right now we have we have the description we have the title and we have the image uh, let me just run the app and show you before using scroll view and after using the scroll view so uh, I have the emulator here running so I'll just run the app click OK and we'll wait for it to build up okay so here we have it in the emulator now if we there is no scrolling as usual because because we haven't added the scroll view yet, uh, we haven't added the scroll view yet but you can see the text is uh, cut off at the bottom right so that's basically how it looks like now we'll add the scroll view uh, we'll add the scroll view to the whole layout to make the the image and the description all of them scrollable and then we'll uh, we'll add we'll then later and we'll later we'll make the description scrollable only and we'll leave the image as it is so let's tackle the first uh, choice which is making the whole layout scrollable so how do we do it really easy uh, let's go to the containers the, the this is the section of the containers we have the list view and we just look for the scroll view there we have the scroll view just drag it anywhere okay and then go back to the text uh, there is the scroll view we'll just take this and then put it on top there okay and then let me just remove this these attributes because this it's no longer on top and then let me open up the scroll view tag and then close it down here at the bottom before the linear layout uh, the relative layout so this one yep delete this as well 
and then we don't need these attributes anymore because the views right now are under scroll view then these are no more useful for us so we'll just delete them we'll do the same thing here okay go back to design doesn't think it uh, doesn't look anything changed around here okay exception now you look at this exception raised during rendering now why it's because scroll view can only hold one child if you look at what we have right now we have a scroll view that's correct but instead of one child we have three one image view and two text views this will not work we have to have only a scroll we have to have a scroll view and then a layout and and that layout will hold whatever views that you wanted to be added inside the screen so for that uh, for that reason that uh, that's the reason why the exception is shown so to get this fixed what we'll do is we will add the image view and these two text views under one layout which which is a linear layout with vertical orientation so yeah we know the rendering we'll look uh, we'll look for the layout section here and then we'll choose linear layout with vertical orientation drag it anywhere that's fine okay ide oops okay let me drag it again I think it's there already. Oh, we have actually two. I'm sorry about that. Let's delete the one that we don't need. Okay, delete this. And then copy, uh, cut this. And then we'll add it inside the scroll view. So here we have the scroll view tag. So inside the scroll view, we'll have the linear layout. So we'll take the closing tag of the linear layout. Uh, let me just cut this and then scroll all the way down before the scroll view closing tag we add the linear layout closing tag let me format the code it looks clean and then the layout height oops we need to change the change it to wrap content as well because we have the scroll view here wrap content so you see android the linear layout should be should use uh, wrap content as the height Okay, go back to design. So you can see that in the title of the Hawaii changed its uh, position from instead of center, it changed to the left. So we can actually change that easily. Uh, so here we have the text that hold the Hawaii the Hawaii title. So we'll just do Android uh, layout. Okay, what's going on? Let me just undo. Oh, okay. I accidentally deleted the the codes. No worries. Uh, Android. Android layout gravity, and then we make it center. Go back to the design. All right, we have it in the center. Now we have we have added the scroll view, so you can see the component tree here. We have the relative layout, which is the real layout of the screen. We have the scroll view. That's right. And then inside the scroll view, we have the linear layout, and that linear layout will hold the image view and the and the title and the description. So let's give it a run. Let's stop this. Run it again. Click OK. Okay, so it's it's deployed to in the emulator. Now let's try to scroll. Yes, you can see it's fully scrollable which we can easily see the full description and the image as well now you can make this you can make the whole layout scrollable or you can actually uh, leave the image as it is and then just make the description scrollable so that's really easy well instead of having the the image view as part of the scroll view we can actually take that out and then just leave the the two text views under the scroll view that way you want uh, that way the image view won't be scrollable when you try to scroll through them so let's do that open up the text and then here we have the image view just uh, take this out so we don't put it outside the linear layout we actually put it outside the scroll view 
So here we have the linear layout, linear layout, and then here we have the scroll view. So here, just paste it right here, and then we'll take these attributes because the scroll view will no longer be on top. Instead, the image view will be on top. So we'll just paste it here. Okay. Now let's go back to design. Okay. The reason why is it's like that because we we need to explicitly tell, we need to explicitly say, uh, define that the scroll view should be below the image view. So let's do that. So here we have the scroll view. So we do Android and then layout below, and then we'll just give it the ID of the image view. That way we're saying, hey, scroll view, I need you to be look uh, position under the image view. So go back to the design. All right. Now let's uh, run the app again. Okay, so now we try to scroll. Okay, the description, we can only scroll through the description. The image is is fixed and it's not scrollable. All right. But you can see here that the text, the text description is too close to the image. So how do we fix it? It's really easy. Just go to the text again, and then for the scroll view, right? We need to give a space between the scroll view and the image view. So here in the scroll view, we can do like this: Android, and then margin top, and then we we'll say uh, for this, I'm gonna go with 20 dp. Go back to design. Okay, we have no extra space. Let's run the app again and see how it looks like on the emulator. Click OK. Okay, now when you now when we scroll, okay, you can see that the text is not really that close to the image, which looks really nice. So you can scroll from the top to the bottom easily with scroll view. All right, cool. That's it guys for this tutorial. If you really enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you, uh, if you really want to see more of these awesome tutorials, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching and happy coding.